Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Your time is now 720. Thanksgiving is on the way. If you still are trying to put your menu together, don't worry. There is help out there for you. The sides are prepared at Texas Roadhouse, and they are in this morning. Chef Jen Pressner is here along with Kip. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. You're welcome. So you guys help people out with giving them or preparing the sides for them. Absolutely. You know, over at Texas Roadhouse, all of our side dishes are made from scratch. So. You know, we know there's a lot going on with the turkey and the ham at home, so we'll go ahead and help you prepare those side dishes, and we're going to do that today and teach love the viewers that. at home. Today we are making homemade green beans. Who doesn't love that, right? Oh, love it. Just like we were talking about the homemade mac and cheese that our grandmothers used to make. So tell us how we do this. All right, Kip is going to walk you through the process here of making those homemade green beans just the way Grandma used to make. So Kip, get us started. All right, the first thing we've got, we've got some diced bacon. Okay, we take our bacon. You can take raw bacon or you can take cooked bacon or cooked ham. And you want to kind of cut it up and have it all really consistent in size. And then you're going to put it in your skillet. And tell us how much you make for, depending on how many guests, say if you're having five guests over, how much of the bacon would you cut up to start with? Uh, I'd start with, it depends on how you buy it. Because okay. if you're going to buy bacon and then you're going to cut it up, it depends on how much you have. So uh, I'm, co I'm cooking four ounces here. This is going to make enough product for four or five people. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, so I'm going to use four ounces of bacon. I'm going to use four ounces of onions. I'm going to take this bacon. I'm going to brown it up real nice, take it to a real ni nice dark color. And then I'm going to add my onions to it. Okay. Okay. And I see you have a big giant can of green beans. And you said that's the small can. You can buy them that's bigger the than that. That's the small can, absolutely. That's amazing. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Well, do I, can I help you do something? <laughs> no, I've actually got it. I've already, okay. I've already made the bacon. I've already prepared it. I've got it all ready to go over here. The magic just, of television. I'm just going to speed ahead here. Now, this is our can of green beans. The store, you can buy the smaller cans, of course. but. And it's just regular cut green beans, yeah. right? I mean, no special, no specialty there. Nah. All right. Just regular stuff that you buy at the store. We're going to take them like this. You take them out of the can. You don't have to use your hand. You can just pour them in. But uh, you drain them, drain all the sauce off there, and then you take some water. You're going to take two cups of water. All right. She gets out of the way. <laughs> She's like, watch out. <laughs> Well, while you're doing that, Kip, Jen, tell us a little bit about sure. what you guys are offering for Thanksgiving. All right. Well, obviously at the restaurant, you know that we've got hand-cut steaks. We've got fall-off-the-bone ribs. I mentioned that we have everything that's made from scratch over right. there at the restaurant. One of our specialties for Thanksgiving that we can absolutely help the viewers out at home with are loaded sweet potatoes. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Oh, my Isn't goodness. That beautiful? Yeah. At the restaurant there, we've toasted them up nice and brown. We've got some caramel sauce, some toasted marshmallows. Oh, God. It's dessert that on sounds... a plate. I know, right? So people get our, our you know, viewers at home or they guests can stop on by. They can uh, pick those up if they'd like. Uh, we're not open on Thanksgiving Day, but they can get those ahead of time and all the ingredients. And when Kip uh, adds all of our ingredients together, we actually do have our homemade green beans at the restaurant. People can purchase as well. I love that. Plenty of things that people can stop over at our three locations and grab. And let's put the information up. You do have three locations. People can go to any one of those and pick up any of the sides. Now, how late is too late to order? Well, what we'd like people to do is get their orders in by Tuesday. Okay. So we have time for pickup on, by Wednesday. Okay. Yeah, but baked beans, green beans, chili. I know that some oh, people... God, stop it. It's a little bit of a deviation <laughs> from the norm, but why not? A little chili of on course. Thanksgiving. Hopefully it's cold. <laughs> yeah, really. All right, let's wrap it up. Let's tell the last thing we need to do. And if you need ingredients on how to make these homemade green beans, go to our website later on today, kxa.com. Yep. We'll have a whole list of instructions of how to do it. All right, so finish it off for us. Put your little wet oh. mixture in here with your cooked bacon and onions. And then add your green beans. And let it cook. Let it cook. Let it get to a boil. Then bring it down to a simmer, and then you're ready to go. Excellent. Thank you guys so much for being here. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, too. You're welcome. We're